of the Jews read the sign. And it was on Golgotha at the third hour of the day they crucified him. While he hung on the cross, those who persecuted him came to mock him. You're the son of God, come down from the cross. Father, forgive them. Father, know not what they do. You are the Christ. Save yourself. Save us. Do you not fear God? You who are condemned, you and I are condemned justly. We have received the due rewards of our deeds. But this man, he has done nothing wrong. Jesus. Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Verily I say unto you, today you shall be with me in paradise. As the hours wore on, the skies began to darken. Still lives. By the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land. The seventh hour passed, and the eighth. My God. My God. Why have you forsaken me?
Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. It is finished. begging audience. The man Joseph, an honorable counselor of Arimathea. Well, speak up. What is it you wish? The body of the man Jesus, that I might give it decent burial. Is he dead already? Yes, Excellency. Are you related to him? No, Excellency. One of his followers who cried him king? No, Excellency. But you are a counselor and a Jew. Yes. Then what interest are you in the man? Your high priest found him guilty of sacrilege and blasphemy. Your people demanded his death. Not all the people, only a few. Not our chosen leaders, but those Rome appointed. You speak with great daring. I speak what I believe, Excellency. The Nazarene was a kind and gentle man, a learned teacher, a man of truth. Such men I honor as best I can. I have a tomb, my own, new and unused. If your excellency would permit, I... Let him have the body. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus to a new tomb, hewn from solid rock. And two women watched, Mary, who was the mother of Jesus, and Mary, who came from Magdala. And the chief priests came once more to the procurator. The man was condemned and executed. What do you want now? Sir, we remember while that imposter was still alive, he said, after three days, I will rise again. <laughs> do you think that he can? Certainly not. But he has deluded the masses before, and his followers may have plans to steal him away and tell the people he has risen from the dead. And the last fraud will be worse than the first. And what do you suggest that I should do? Order that the tomb be made secure until the third day. Centurion, order an officer and men enough for the task. Now you have a guard of soldiers. Go, make it as secure as you can. Our most sincere appreciation, Your Excellency, and that of my Lord Caiaphas. made secure to the satisfaction of those who had demanded it. And the guard was placed by it to watch over it. Shining robe so bright, I, I was dazzled. Then I, 
Pilot will never believe this. You'll have to. When all your men tell the same story, get them ready. I'll go with you. Perhaps I should leave one or more of my men here. To guard what? An empty tomb? Anything suspicious? Pairs of soldiers patrolling the streets. None so much as looked up. I'll stand guard for a while. You'd better get some sleep. Thank you, Thomas. I couldn't. I thought I couldn't either. But once I'd stretched out and closed my eyes. I close my eyes, I see too many things. I know. I see them too. You do? The hills of Galilee, waters of Gennesaret, the way the master used to smile. I see men in the courtyard. The courtyard of Annas. Why? Do you remember the last time we dined with the master? I'll never forget it. How he said you will all fall away. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd. And the sheep will be scattered. Yes. And I told him that even if all the others deserted, I would not. You remember what he said then? I, I'm not sure I recall it. He said this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And I promised him that even if I had to die with him, I would never deny him. You tried to prevent his arrest. You were the only one who followed when they took him away. Yes, I followed. To the courtyard of Annas. The gate was open, and I went in and mingled with the guards. So you told us. It was a daring thing to do. I didn't tell you all that happened. One of the women's servants brought wine for the guards. She looked at me and she said, you were with the Nazarene in the temple. And I said she was mistaken, that I didn't know the man. Later, when she came back for the empty cups, she looked at me again. She said to the guards, he is one of them. And again, I lied, saying I, I didn't know a rabbi named Jesus. Not far away, a rooster crowed. And then the guards came to me. I said they could tell by my northern accent that I was from Galilee. And I said, may a curse fall upon me if I know him of whom you speak. And the words were hardly out of my mouth when the cock crowed a second time. Very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, the women went unto the tomb, bearing spices that they might anoint him. I wonder who will roll away the stone for us. Perhaps the soldiers will. Look!
They've taken it away. Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Go. Tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. told all that they had seen and heard to the apostles, but their words seemed to the men an idle tale, and they did not believe them. It's impossible, impossible. They don't know what they're saying. They're worn out, tired. We should never have let them go without us. The shock of finding the body stolen, the tomb empty. If it is empty. Well, they couldn't have been mistaken about that. Hardly. They've been under a great strain, grief-ridden, sleepless. They thought they heard the voice, but they must have seen the empty sepulcher. Perhaps. Well, they may have gone to a wrong tomb by mistake. Always the doubter. Is it a sin to be certain? I'll go to the tomb. I'll go with you, alone. There's no use of endangering two men. Only what the women thought they heard could come true. Peter went alone unto the tomb. Looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Wondering at what had happened, he went away. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, they were together except for Thomas, who was not with them. The authorities are seeking us, they'll be guarding every gate. And all the roads to Galilee. Well, we could go one or two at a time, mingle with the crowds going home from the feasts. And if one was caught, they'd comb the city till all the rest were found. Yes. No, we'll stay here until they relax their vigilance. Oh, oh I, I agree. Don't know. No, yes. I still think that we ought to. Well, that's my suggestion. If any of you have a better plan, peace be with you. Come in. We've been waiting for you. Did everything go well in Bethany? Yes, I gave our farewells to Lazarus and his sisters. Told them of our plans. Good. Lazarus wanted to come back with me. You didn't let him. No, I... I told him that his name was too closely linked with the masters, that he should stay away from the city. You did well. He insisted he's coming early tomorrow, with the merchants bringing their goods to the markets. Why should he take such a risk? Yes, why? He, he cannot wait to hear from you, all of you, everything you can tell him of, of what you saw. Well, why wasn't he satisfied with what you told him? Surely that should be enough. Because I could only say they have seen, but I have not. Well, but if you convinced him you know the master has risen, lives again. I could not say I know. Unless I see in his hand the prints of nails and and place my finger in the marks of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I... I will not believe. Peace be with you. Lord, Thomas, come to me. Put your finger here and see my hand.
Put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. My Lord and my God, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 